Try. Just try to argue with a leftist. Tell me they aren't in a religious cult after you've tried. Give it a shot. See what happens. Am I really wrong? You know I'm not. You know I'm not wrong at all. It's this exact thought process that gives way to things like seven-year-olds in pole dancing classes. This episode is called American Sodom and Gomorrah for a reason, folks. And when you give up your morality and you allow your seven-year-olds to participate in pole dancing classes, you're an idiot if you think bad things can't happen. Bad things happen all the time. So like I've been saying throughout this episode, there are consequences to these stupid liberal decisions. And this is one of them. Folks, this is from Gateway Pundit and by Cassandra Fairbanks, husband of Indiana woman offering pole dancing classes for seven-year-old kids, is a registered child sex offender, according to reports. And if you're watching, take a look at this picture. You see this girl's long hair? That's like from Tangled, right? That's Rapunzel from the tower. They're literally coaxing kids to come in and do pole dancing. It says kids pole too. It's sick. It's absolutely sick. We've got to read it though. An Indiana, uh, an Indiana, an Indiana business is offering pole dancing lessons for children as young as seven years old. All right. Seven years old. I've said that like a hundred times in this episode, but I have to because it has to sink into your subconscious because it's sick. It's literally sick. And the left thinks this is OK. All right. Feminist News reports that according to a private criminal record search conducted by Truthfinder, Maxwell Garrett Hubner was charged on March 11th, 2009 of sexual misconduct with a minor. According to the report, Hubner was convicted of an offense under Indiana Code 354249, a sexual offense against a minor less than 16 years of age but at least 14 years of age. So she, we know that she was at least 14 or 15 years old. Hubner would have been approximately 21 years old when the offense was committed. Okay, that's disgusting. I don't give a crap how close you think it is or what kind of excuse you have. A 21-year-old should not be with a 14 or 15-year-old. In fact, nobody should. Come do that with my daughter and see what happens to you. This guy looks like a POS with his little thick neck, tiny head, tiny brain smiling for the camera. I hate sex offenders and I hate even more child sex offenders, all right? The post-millennial reports that they were able to independently corroborate the arrest record by checking instantcheckmate.com. Hubner deleted her new Dance Studios Facebook page as the Gateway Pundit's article on the classes went viral on Friday. And frankly, I think her studio should be locked up and condemned, all right? Because I think pole dancing for kids is child abuse, don't you? Tell me, let me know in the comments below, email me, let me know, however you can, whether you believe pole dancing for kids is child abuse. I want your opinion on it. I do. Email me at jameslane at americanreveille.com if you can't get a hold of me or use the contact form at americanreveille, R-E-V-E-I-L-L-E dot com. All right, but we have to keep reading this. Her husband also deleted his entire Facebook page as reports came out about his previous arrest. I wonder why he was trying to hide it. Maybe he shouldn't have been around children. A disturbing flyer for the classes feature a likeness of Disney's Rapunzel, like I said in the beginning of this article, hanging upside down on a pole in what appears to be lingerie. And it really does look like lingerie. And look, you see the chameleon on the pole? There's like a tiny little chameleon lizard. That is from Disney's Tangled. My daughter loves Tangled, all right? I know all the songs from Tangled because I've watched it a thousand times. If you think that's not to coax children, all right? If cigarettes can't have cartoons smoking anymore, all right? The big tobacco companies. Why does this uh, 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 woman here all right. Get to teach pole dancing to children with illustrations of kids in lingerie with little lizards and long, flowy, blonde hair, smiling and happy. And why do parents even give her money and drop their kids off? What is wrong with people? It's insane. All right. It even says on the flyer six plus. So maybe they had seven year old clients. Maybe nobody went as low as six yet. It's horrifying. It's absolutely horrifying. Without even her husband being a registered child sex offender. This is terrifying. All right. People are paying 240. All right. 
for two hours a week or 340 for three hours a week teaching these babies, these young children how to pole dance. Tiffany has not deleted her own personal Facebook account, which features photos and videos of what appears to be her young daughter or stepdaughter using a pole, in one case alongside herself in a revealing bikini. And this is actually pretty freaking disgusting, folks. If you take a look at this, right? All right, you've got these two women in their bikinis, which is whatever. It's not my my business. But then there's this little girl wearing a tiny swimsuit, and she's actually climbing a brass pole all right, with her legs spread, all right, it's disturbing. It's absolutely disturbing, and I believe that this is child abuse. These people should be investigated for child abuse. It's absolutely horrifying. It's absolutely horrifying. In a Facebook post prior to deleting the business page, Hubner wrote, thank you to those who have shown your support for my kids' poll classes. I know that it's going to take time for everybody to drop the stigma of it's a stripper poll and understand that poll is an international sport now. I have patience and hope for our future generations of poll Olympians and want to share an example with the public of what an international poll sports competition for kids looks like. The post included a video of a nine-year-old child pole dancing to defend her decision. Wow. Wow. Oh, so wow. Uh, in Russia, right? That's nice. I can't read those letters there. It says pole sport kids, nine year old Anna Kakrova Paknovich. I can't read that because it's in Russian letters and not English. She shared this to defend herself, although nothing is defensible because her man diddles kids and is a registered child sex offender do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars all right this woman and her man should be arrested quote it is an excellent combination of dance and gymnastics teenagers and adults can be taught in this same style in my pole sport classes and we also have flirty flow for adults who want to learn a sensual style of pole but the two styles are kept separate and age appropriate Although a bunch of different women's crotches spend time on that pole, I'm sure. Folks, it's not appropriate. It's not right. I don't care what people say. I don't care what women's groups come after me. I don't give a crap. I'm a father. I have daughters. Kiss my lily white butt cheeks. We're not done yet. In another post, screenshotted by the Gateway Pundit, the instructor who also invited people to stop by and check it out, referring to the children's pole dancing class, all right? The instructor invited people to just come and watch, all right? Come and watch children's pole dancing classes. There's a nice little uh, picture of a girl in tiny shorts and a tiny bra uh, stretching herself, spreading herself out on a pole. They're selling it as fitness. They always, always, always sell it as fitness. And is it fitness? Are there, are there forms of pole that could be considered fitness in 2021? Sure. But they damn sure don't involve seven-year-old little girls. All right? Try me. Justify it. See what happens. A now deleted post from Tiff's Poll Fitness also said that they've deleted posts because the shares and views have extended far beyond our community and area. I didn't anticipate that it would go uh, 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 viral. It would begin to go viral. I, I, I just want to protect the privacy of my students. I want to protect our small community. No, you want to protect your own ass because now it's exposed that your husband's a disgusting pervert. All right. Go to jail. That's where you belong. So I know that none of us, none of us would ever send our children to a pole dancing class. So please don't think I'm referring to you. I've got nothing against strippers and pole dance cardio people. What I have a problem with is the normalization of the sexualization of our children. Plain and simple. All right. Plain and simple. The elites, they seem to love children a lot more than they should, don't they? From Epstein's pedophile island to Joe Biden's sniffing hair to Alex Jones exposing the elites burning child effigies to the hundreds of thousands of children who are sex trafficked in America each year. The elites really, really seem to have a sick interest in the kids, regardless of the reason why. They normalize the sexualization of children, and I'm not okay with that. You're not okay with that. And it's time we speak out in defense of our kids. 
We can't allow this to become normal. Our own government looks at parents standing up for kids' rights at school board meetings as domestic terrorists. So how long until they find a reason to investigate the rest of us? All right, how long until parents are stripped of all their rights for the betterment of the system itself and the easier programming of our children?